This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Full Sail University. Well, how's it going there, everybody? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. Hope you guys are doing swell, and welcome to another episode of What's the Apps. Now, if you've been following our MWC 2012 coverage, you'll know that Todd is over there right now working his butt off to cover everything mobile. Now, there's been loads of Android stuff, which means loads of Android ice cream sandwich loaded goodies for us. I just said load three times, but I don't care. Now, for us at home, Ice Cream Sandwich is set to slowly roll on to supported devices within this year. But what if you want Ice Cream Sandwich now, okay? What if you're all like, I want my Ice Cream Sandwich, just give me my Ice Cream Sandwich. Well, in that case, tune into this episode of What's the Apps and you'll find out how you can Ice Cream Sandwichify your phone. Hit me! Now, when you think of customization for Android, you might think of rooting, which is the iOS jailbreak equivalent, but for Android. I'm one of those people who don't like to root or jailbreak or hack or do anything with the phones. I, I just like things native, like things vanilla, plain Jane, and some sort of ice cream flavor that, that is sort of like vanilla, but not, not vanilla because I just mentioned vanilla. So like an off-brand cheap vanilla. It's actually quite delicious, I think. Thankfully, there's enough in the stock Android marketplace to give you a visual feel of Android 4.0 on your phone. First, you'll need Go Launcher X, a top rated and extremely popular launcher alternative. This will be the backbone of our ice cream sandwich project, codenamed, I want ice cream sandwich today, Junior. Now, head back to the marketplace and pick up ice cream sandwich theme by Kovdev. This is a magic right here. This is the super stuffs. After downloading, head to Go Launcher's theme settings and select ice cream sandwich and boom happy times but that's kid stuff we want to go a little bit more hardcore like this walnut right here go back to the marketplace and pick up ice cream sandwich keyboard by binary there are several ICS keyboards out there but I stuck with this one because it's it's totally free and it works really really well much better than the stock keyboard that came with this rather laggy LG revolution right here not only does it look fantastic but it's got some settings that'll help enhance your typing experience and typing efficiency. Keyboards, like the one I got back there, are cool. But what about lock screens? Download Widget Launcher, activate it, boom. ICS lock screen. If you want to make it look legit, you'll have to shrink the clock a little bit and shift it slightly to the right. Happy times! Fan of widgets? How about ice cream sandwich themed widgets? Thanks to how crazily customizable Go Launcher is, you'll be able to theme Go Launcher created widgets. Go ahead and pick up whatever widgets you want from Go Launcher, such as a calendar, contacts, messages, and so on, and pick up something called ICS Go Widget Theme. Plop in your widgets, change the theme to ICS, and there there you have it, black and blue ICS themed widgets. Hey, do you like clocks? I bet you do. Well then, check out Ice Cream Sandwich Clock by Chillist Apps and plop it right in. One final thing. Fonts. Google created a new font face called Roboto for Android 4.0, which kind of mimicked the best of Universe, Helvetica, Myriad, FFDIN, and several others. But anyways, pick up fonts by Cubehead and uh, open up preferences in Go Launcher. Tap on visual settings, font, and scan font. This will take a little bit, but after it's done, tap on select font and scroll down until you see Roboto Android 4.0. You can pick whatever you want to, of course, but for the sake of ICS, let's go with Roboto and happy, happy times. And speaking of happy times, I'm gonna take some time to thank our friends at Full Sail University. You guys and I are a little bit familiar with mobile applications, so we know that the mobile app industry is on fire right now, okay? Almost too hot to handle. Um, Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skills you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and business side of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, deploy, and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, app deployment, and usability principles for iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail University's Project Launchbox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities on the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. 15 billion applications have been downloaded from the App Store, and Android 
Jordan market share is expected to grow 600% by 2012. If you are ready to master the technology and software to complete this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more about this online degree program. Back to business. Overall, even though I know this isn't exactly Android 4.0, the facelift kind of gives you that feeling of, oh, Android is fun again. There are a couple of other things you can do. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can do loads more if you root. But for now, this works for me. It's clean, it's simple, and it's relatively lightweight. It even works smoothly on older guys like this Nexus 1 right here. So for you Android folks out there, Good luck ice cream sandwiching and happy hunting. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Latest. Oh my, my screen just dimmed a bit, but I don't care. My screen did dim, but can't use that take. Gotta, gotta do a retake. I'm pro like that. I put the pro in professional. I also put the pro in propane.